Hi everybody, I'm John Tartle. And I'm Leslie Stanford. And today we're talking about how you can get the most of the Herbalife marketing plan. It really is the best in the industry. Did you know that Herbalife gives 73% of all retail sales dollars right back to the distributors? 73%, that is a true testament to the integrity and strength of the plan. And you want to have a thorough understanding of this marketing plan so that you can take full advantage of it. Now, keep in mind, each step of the marketing plan requires its own level of commitment and the potential rewards are amazing, especially if you hit that supervisor level. That's right, John. Now, as supervisors, we have the opportunity to earn from up to six potential areas of income and incentives, six different dimensions to our marketing plan that we can work simultaneously to increase our earning potential. There's retail profit, wholesale profit, royalty overrides, a monthly production bonus, and an annual bonus known as the Mark Hughes bonus. Then, of course, there are Herbalife company promotions and luxurious vacations. When I look back on what I was doing when I first started out, I realized that I was only taking advantage of one dimension of our marketing plan. I was focused on my own retail sales, and I was doing quite well. And while retail sales remain the most important part of our business, I later learned that if my goal was to build up a prosperous business, I really wanted to develop a strong team of downline supervisors who would also be making retail sales and taking advantage of all six dimensions. Definitely. Now, in the previous chapters, you'll remember, we took you through half of the marketing plan levels. So, we started here at distributor, then moved to senior consultant, then to success builder, on to qualified producer, and then finally to supervisor. In the upcoming chapters, we're going to take you through the upper levels of the marketing plan, from an upline supervisor all the way to founder circle, which is the pinnacle of success here at Herbalife. You're going to need to have a deeper understanding of the marketing plan as you move up and become more of a leader for your team because you're going to have more and more people asking you for this information. Now, mentoring your downline to help them reach the supervisor level is such a large part of building a strong team and it can make or break your success here at Herbalife. You see, if you mentor your downline to the supervisor level, then you can mentor their, their downline to become supervisors. Now, of the six potential areas of income and incentives, the one that's going to be the most important for you at the supervisor level is called royalty overrides. Let me explain. If you, as a supervisor, order product at a 50% discount, your potential wholesale profit would be based on purchases made by a distributor in your downline with a lower percentage discount, right? So. Let's say you're selling to distributor A in your downline who gets a 25% discount. You could potentially earn a 25% wholesale profit. But once distributor A becomes a supervisor, they purchase products at the same discount as you, 50%. So you don't earn wholesale profit on their volume anymore. However, you are eligible to earn royalty overrides on their volume. And royalty overrides are key to moving up the marketing plan and increasing potential earnings. That's right. So what are they? Well, royalty overrides are payments that you can become eligible to earn from the company as a fully qualified supervisor, and they are based on your organization volume. Now, if you don't remember, organization volume is the monthly total volume of your first two levels of active downline supervisors plus the personal volume for the third level of active supervisors in your downline. These royalties can range from 1% to 5%. Okay, let's see how they work by using an example. Let's say you're a supervisor shown here with a square, and you're buying your products at a 50% discount, right? Well, let's say that you sponsored A who also achieves supervisor level. Now. Let's say A went out and attracted some retail customers and then started sponsoring people in the business, building a team. And in one month, A places an order of 4,000 volume points. On the 15th of every month, the company will send you a 5% check of A's volume or anybody that you sponsor first line as a supervisor. So, 5% of 4,000 volume points will give you a 200 royalty point check. It's great. Now, 
Let's say A sponsored B, and B ended up doing 10,000 volume points as a supervisor in that same month. Well, the company sends you a check not only for 5% of A's volume, but now you're also going to get 5% of B's volume. So, 5% of 10,000 volume points will give you a 500 royalty point check. And now let's say that B sponsored C, and C got great results with the product, started building a business, became a supervisor, and achieved 2,500 in volume. You would also get a royalty check for 5% of 2,500 volume points for C, which is 125 royalty points. Now again, you're going to earn 5% royalty overrides on all volume points for the first three levels of supervisors. So, in this particular example, your royalty check would be 825 royalty points. In the United States right now, that's a little over $860. Now your supervisors don't have to be in the same downline lineage. In fact, you might increase your earning potential by recruiting, mentoring, and retaining first level supervisors in multiple lineages. Because if they recruit, mentor, and retain supervisors below them, you can increase the amount of supervisors that you are eligible to earn from. Let's say your personal volume is 2,500, so you're earning 5% on royalty overrides. Now, You've got fully qualified Supervisor A achieving 10,000 volume points in one downline, and you've got fully qualified Supervisor B achieving the same in a separate level in your downline. So if 5% of 10,000 is 500, you would have achieved 1,000 royalty points. So you see, you want your team to grow both wide and deep. Now keep in mind, you're earning all of this from your downline in one month. You can see, how the more successful your supervisors are, the more successful you will be. And keep in mind, this is all on top of what you could potentially already be earning in retail profit and wholesale profit from your non-supervisor downline. Not bad, right? Incredible. And you know, we're spending a lot of time on supervisors because in my opinion, that's where the business really begins. Because now, instead of one or two areas of income, you have several income opportunities available to you. You can earn retail profit from customers, wholesale profit from your non-supervisor downline, and you are also able to earn royalty overrides from supervisors in your downline. Not to mention, you can become eligible to earn annual bonuses, promotions, and much, much more. As a supervisor, you also become eligible to have access to special trainings and events that don't just happen locally, but in vacation spots all over the world. And we're not talking about the local spa here. Let me tell you, Herbalife sends you to places like Singapore, the Bahamas, Rio de Janeiro, all to meet with people and share ideas. And boy, do they send you in style, let me tell you. You also might have a chance to tour our new world headquarters in downtown Los Angeles at Exciting LA Live. And of course, in order to take advantage of all these benefits, you do need to achieve each individual promotion or vacation's requirements, as well as re-qualify for your supervisor status annually. Let's show a few more examples. Now remember that a square symbolizes a supervisor, a circle represents a distributor, and a new shape a triangle which represents a qualifying supervisor. A qualifying supervisor is not the same as a fully qualified supervisor. Whenever a distributor qualifies for supervisor status, they can order products immediately with a temporary 50% discount for the rest of the month, but they aren't considered fully qualified supervisors until the first of the following month. Got all that? Okay, here we go. Take a look at this example. Now when E places a 4,000 volume point order at 42%, this counts as personal volume for you. But since this qualifies E to supervisor with a one month qualification, that volume now becomes encumbered for everyone in the upline. Remember, each upline distributor needs to accumulate 1,000 unencumbered volume points if they want to qualify for supervisor as well. So, Look what happens when D earns at least 1,000 volume points unencumbered in that same month. D becomes a qualifying supervisor with a temporary 50% discount. Now, D's 1,000 points are added to E's 4,000 
to become a total of 5,000 volume points for distributor C, but it's still encumbered volume. So, in order to qualify for supervisor, C also needs 1,000 unencumbered volume points, and so do distributors B and A. Now, assuming that they all got 1,000 unencumbered volume points, the entire line would qualify to supervisor. And notice how A, B, C, and D have changed to triangles on that chart. Well, this signifies that they're qualifying supervisors for the given month. Now, E is also a qualifying supervisor and is eligible to purchase the next order at a 50% discount. But for the purposes of tracking personal volume, we'll keep showing E as a circle. Now, as Leslie mentioned earlier, things change when distributors in your downline become supervisors. For instance, because they are now qualifying supervisors, if A, B, C, and D each purchase 1,000 volume points from the company, this counts as personal volume for them, but it counts as group volume for you. Group volume, if you remember, is the volume of qualifying supervisors in your downline purchasing at a temporary 50% discount. And again, each of those 1,000 volume points were the unencumbered volume that they needed to complete their supervisor qualification, okay? So, how much volume do you have so far? You have 4,000 volume points from E and 4,000 group volume from A, B, C, and D for a total of 8,000 points. But how about royalty overrides? Well, as we mentioned, royalty overrides are based on organizational volume, which is the total volume of the first three levels of downline supervisors plus the group volume from any qualifying supervisors. So, the 4,000 group volume points placed by A, B, C, and D at a temporary 50% during their qualifying month counts as level one organizational volume for you. This is because they won't be fully qualified supervisors until the following month. Again, notice in our diagram that they are still shown as triangles, not squares. Now, since E ordered at a 42% success builder discount, E's volume would count as PV, not group volume, and therefore not organizational volume. Got it? So, 4,000 organizational volume points times 5% which is the maximum percentage for royalty overrides, is 200. And since A, B, C, and D can't earn royalty points during their qualification month, those 200 royalty override points roll up to you. For more information on how this works, make sure to watch our chapter on royalty roll-ups. So, moving on with our example. You have 4,000 organizational volume and 200 royalty override points from A, B, C, and D. But you can also earn level one royalty overrides from F, who is a supervisor in a separate line in your downline. So F's 2,500 organizational volume times 5% means another 125 royalty override points for you. But you can also earn level one royalty overrides from G, who is in a third line in your downline. Again, 2,500 times 5% becomes 125 royalty override points. Now in G's downline, you earn royalty overrides from H. So 2,500 times 5% becomes another 125 royalty override points. And you earn third level organizational volume from I, which is also 2,500 times 5%. So that's now another 125 royalty override points. Add it all up, and in the illustration, you would have accumulated 14,000 organizational volume points and 700 royalty override points. This also means you'd have more than enough to qualify for the next level in the marketing plan, World Team, which only requires that you achieve either 10,000 total volume points in one volume month, if you are a supervisor, 500 royalty override points in one volume month, or 2,500 total volume points in each of four consecutive months. From this point, your next goal in the marketing plan would be global expansion team or get team, as it's more commonly known. Now, 
All this is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. However, to make things even easier, the Herbalife computer system keeps track of all of this for you. Once royalty processing is completed each month, your statement and earnings are available on MyHerbalife.com. Now, before we move on, there are two very important rules about qualifying for royalty overrides, production bonus, and other bonuses that you need to know. Number one, the 10 retail customers rule, and number two, the 70% rule. The 10 retail customers rule states that you must personally make sales to at least 10 separate retail customers in a given month. They can be new customers or repeat customers, either one is fine. The second rule, the 70% rule, states that you must sell at least 70% of the total value of Herbalife products that you purchase from the company. Remember, you must certify that you have met both of these requirements in a given month in order to earn royalty overrides and production bonuses for that month. Now, as we've said before, we're talking a lot about the supervisor level because that's where greater earning potential can come in. But Supervisor can also be the gateway to the upper levels of the marketing plan, which we'll discuss in future chapters. For now, you need to know that if you qualify as supervisor, you'll need to re-qualify and pay your annual processing fee every year. Right, we'll explain the requalification process in the next chapter. Now, if you have any questions, remember that your sponsor and the company are there to help you. You can also use these videos designed so that you can review each subject as needed at any point in time. See you next time.